And we back. Whenever we want to make a trade, we got to go to this wheel and it will determine what draft class the player I'm going to be trading for is from. So we got draft class this old as 2003. Y'all y'all know who that is, right? To 2024. It is weird to go back through it. Like how Laurie is the last active player of his draft class, if I'm not mistaken. I think Chris Paul is the last of his draft class. There's some old men over there. We're going to stop at three and two and one. We're running with the LA Lakers. I feel like we keep getting the Lakers, but I mean, it's random, right? The Lakers today is going to get us pick... Num num number 27 all right we can make that work man we can make that work now in this video you had to be drafted so i'm sorry fred van vliet and all of my other undrafted brethren uh we appreciate you the grind that it takes to go undrafted and still make it in the league but you will not be represented in today's video so our team is paul george evan mobley deandre aiden josh hart mike conley obi topton kcp davion mitchell ben simmons Gordon Hayward and so on and so forth. This is cool. Evan Mobley is a great player to have on the team, but he also is one of the best trade pieces you could get in case we get a draft class and we want to go ahead and get a superstar. So first spin of the video, we're going to trade for somebody in the 2019 draft. And if you need a refresher, it's definitely not me that needs the refresher. It's you that needs the refresher. Uh, this is what the 2019 draft class looks like. The best player in this draft was drafted number seven. Shout out to Kobe White. But we also got great players like Luka Samanich or Romeo Langford, who I have a signed autograph uh, card from. How did I get that? I'm not completely sure, but it's in the basement. I also have a signed Sekou Dumbuya grade PSA 10 because that was something I was into once upon a time. All right, so let's go trade for a player in the 2019 draft class. I mean, if we want to go crazy, we could have this be one of our star players, right? Because John Morant is sitting at a 90 overall player. But also, I got to start, I got to think about role players too. So, like, I mean, we got Cam Johnson in this class. We got Daniel Gafford, Nick Claxton, Matisse Steibel, Terrence Mann, PJ Washington. I mean, there is a lot of great players slash really good players in this draft. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to trade for Alex Jacoby White. Yep. Because I'm thinking about it like this. Kobe White is on one of the best team-friendly contracts. It is sitting at two years, $24 million. That is an absolute steal. He's an 82 overall player. He's going to probably be our uh, like our sixth man on this team. And they'll give us a first-round pick in order to get him. That seems like the easiest trade of all time. Uncle Mike Conley, I'm sorry. Gordon Hayward, I'm sorry. You old men, 37, 34. What team is giving me the best player in the trade and a first-round pick for two dinosaurs? We'll take it. Shout-out to the Houston Rockets, man. We appreciate you. Simple. Simple. Trade number one is done, and I think we won that trade. We got future capital to go along with it. 2015 now. Now, 2015 is Carl Anthony Towns' year, which means that it's Devin Booker's year. So we can, we can go and add Devin Booker to this list, man. We can go get Devin Booker. Paul George is our highest overall player right now. Like PG, don't love PG. So I would throw him in a trade in a heartbeat if that means we can get Book. Book 93, yeah, contracts make sense right there. They're going to say no, but I did see... Oh, that was a video I filmed earlier. See, these videos start to cross. You record multiple in a day. You, you start forgetting stuff. Davion Mitchell being 26, I forgot he came in older. But he's 26, two-star value. I mean, we do have some draft capital, two-star value on our own first-round pick. Then we got that Rockets first round pick in the Kobe White trade. Then we could give them another first round pick. And then we could give them, um, ah, you want Dalen Terry, one and a half star? No. You can, Josh Hart's pre, a pretty good basketball player. I don't know if you knew that. I don't know if you knew that. How much money they got to make up? About 12 million. Um, hmm. We'll take Goga Batazzi and Patrick Baldwin Jr. Now we throw the draft capital. This is where things get done. I could give up to three first round picks. There's two, and if this don't go, then we're going to move on to another player. We're going to move on to another player. It wasn't meant to be, Book. We, we could go get Cardinal Towns, who's going to put up some really good numbers. I'm trying to remember who else is in this draft class. Like, I think Miles Turner's 2015. I think Miles Turner's 2015. Um, his contract is kind of big. If I'm gonna tr If I'm going to have that much money in my center position, I want somebody that's really high overall, and I don't think Turner is that. Yeah, Turner is sitting at 84, but he is 2015. Okay. Man, I'm trying. Okay, so that's Julia Okafor. That's D'Angelo Russell. That's Devin Booker. That's um. Maybe I go back to talk to De them about Devin Booker and I try to use the Evan Mobley piece. Or no, 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 no. Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns, the best player in the draft. Oh, the number one pick in the draft. Maybe we just go out there and go get Cat. Right now he's sitting at an 89 overall. He plays for the Pacers. Let's go talk to the Pacers real quick and we'll see what we can get for Carl Anthony Towns. The Pacers got Kawhi back. They got Amin Thompson. Oh my God, this team is fun. Amin Thompson, Tari Eason, Kawhi Leonard. Whoa, 
Whoa, and they got the stretch four. I'm sorry, stretch five and big cat. So they're probably gonna say give us Paul George and one other piece. Yeah, that's an easy trade. I'm not doing the Evan Mobley one. I'll do Paul George and Gallinari for Carl Anthony Towns. The 2015 draft trade is done. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not. I'm not googling the draft classes no more. I gotta get it up here. And, and figure out the players that way. I mean, that's easy. People should know draft class. All right, next trade is gonna be with the 22. Boy, I thought we was had to go get Braun because you know if you land on 2003, there's only one dude in 2003. But instead, we got 2024, which is just any rookie from this class. This class don't really have a ton of really good high overall players. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I might just trade finder some stuff and hope to get a back end rookie. This guy may not even ever play for us. I'm gonna be honest with you. Here's Eve's Messi. Trade number 12 might be it. That'll give us a rook. Trade number 12 is looking good. Yeah. Oh, don't connect this here. And Jalen Wells. Two for the price of one, baby. Two for the price of one. All right, don't connect. Now, if I trade for a player, that doesn't mean he's safe, right? I just did the trade in order to get the trade done. So we could potentially trade Jalen Wells or don't connect in a different trade. But we just had to fulfill our obligations. Now we... How we get 2024 twice? I just did a... a I just did a trade for two of the guys. I didn't realize Jalen Wells was 6'8". Shout out to Jalen Wells. Um, Batum and Jalen Wells, let's go get another rookie, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I just, what? What? How do we land on the same number twice like that? Now nobody want to give me a rookie. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I see how it is. I see how it is. Who's a who's a random rookie that probably wouldn't be worth a lot on them? You know what? He I can't I can't go get a guy. Let's go see what Zach Eady's looking like. Playing for the Bulls right now. He's seven foot five, three hundred and five pounds. Crazy. Um, Trey Finder says KCP. Josh Hart. Okay, no, he's way too valuable for a guy that will not play for us. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Eady. Ty Jerome still hasn't had his up overall upgraded. I'm gonna put my note in the 2K and say Ty Jerome will get that upgrade boost. He got to be at least a. 79 overall or something. All right, there we go. Jonathan Mobo, uh, first round pick two. We get a first rounder. That's the easy trade. All right, so we got way more rookies than we probably should. We got three 2024 uh, rookies, but again, none of them guys could be safe. 2017, let's get it. Here's an opportunity for us to do something really special. Best player from this draft off the top of my head is Mr. Jason Tatum. He plays for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I, I, Tatum is just a guy that I've rarely trade for. Um, because he's actually really hard to trade for. But I'm going to try my best to do it right now. Cavaliers, we'd have to give them Evan Mobley in this trade. We'd have to give them... That's where Ben Simmons' contract comes into play. They got to make up $8 million. They, ooh, they got some young bucks around here. Give us Fontecchio. And then now we say, like, hey, here's the draft capital. We got we got multiple first-rounders that aren't even ours. Top 10 protected pick from Orlando. We got this Houston Rockets pick from the first Kobe White trade. And then we got another first-rounder from our own. The deal is not done. Yeah, he's he's a guy, and and I wonder if I do this. The problem is Ben Simmons' contract might be even bigger than I don't even know. There's Zion, there's Trey Young, there's Paul George, there's John Morant. Yeah, the Trey Finder won't have it, huh? So let's go, let's go get Donovan Mitchell, I guess. Right, Donovan Mitchell's this draft class. I'm just trying to think about the All Stars here. We got like Larry Marketing is in this draft class. De'Aaron Fox is in this draft class, if I'm not mistaken. So Fox makes a lot of sense for what this team already is right now. Maybe De'Aaron is the guy we go get. I mean, we'll, we can try the Donovan Mitchell thing. I just think Mitchell is going to be too hard to trade for because what is he at? After the way they team is starting right now, I, his overall got to be what, 90, 93? 93, yeah. So that's a little bit tough. But De'Aaron Fox, I don't think his overall is going to be that high. I think 88, I think I said, I saw. So 88 wouldn't be too bad, too hard to trade for. There he is playing for the Milwaukee Bucks. Throw it in the tray, fine. As long as you ain't asking for Evan Mobley or Carl Anthony Towns, you probably got a deal. And I feel like they're going to ask for both of those dudes. DeAndre Aiden. Hey, that's maybe the easiest trade. I mean, we could also get Zubach in that trade as well. But I'm going to I'm gonna stick to trade number one, which is KCP, DeAndre Aiden. And we get a first-round pick. Lottery protected, but a first-round pick. De'Aaron Fox, Carl Anthony Towns, welcome to the team. We also got Mobley still to lock, lock down defensively. Like, I'm liking our team right now. But we are far from a championship team, if you ask me. The next year we get is 2005, which is, you know, it's not a lot of goats active. <laughs> not a lot of active goats out there, but this guy from 2005, fourth overall pick, Christopher Emmanuel Paul, he's up to an 83 overall. Shout out to CP3. Um, I hate that it's going to cost us something to get him, though. <laughs> I hate that it's going to cost us something to get him. So he's making $10 million. Let's see. We could, we could give them, um, we can give them Obi Toppin. 
They say no. We give them Ovi Toppin and the Magic first round pick. They say no. We give them Ovi, Ovi Toppin, the Magic first round pick in a second. They say no. We give them Obi Top and the Magic <laughs> first round pick, and then uh, uh, Jonathan Mobo. They say, stop, stop. Come on, man. He's 96 years old. Here's toothpicks, man. Dang. The problem is he's the only 2005 guy left, so we had no. We couldn't be like, oh, he's too expensive. Let's go get somebody else. It was only him. He was the only option. So now we get 2007. 2007 is Steph Curry, James Harden, DeMar DeRozan. Drew Holiday, or was that 2008? I think that's 2007, man. I think that is 2007. I'ma double check it, I'ma double check it. I think that's 2007. It, oh, that's, wait, we're in 2009. So 2007, that's, it, ooh, 2007. Is that Lowry, Cal Lowry? 2007, no, 2006 is probably Cal Lowry, right? Hold on, let's see. Oldest guys in the league, Cal Lowry. 2006 is Cal Lowry. So 2007 is Mike Conley. Okay, all right, so we got Uncle Mike. Who else is, is there anybody else that was active in this draft class? He thinking that was Steph Curry's year. That's that's an all-time blunder, I won't lie. Um, I got I got a guy in mind. Um, the second overall pick in this year's draft was still active. His name is Kevin. And Kevin is really good at basketball, if you didn't know. So I'm gonna try my hardest to get Kevin on our team. It's gonna cost us. It's gonna quite, cost us quite a bit, but I think we might be able to do it. Give us Evan Fournier back. They're going to say no. We got all of the first round picks with four slots to fill. Kevin Durant, please come to Los Angeles to play alongside Chris Paul and uh, Carlton Towns. And um, I forget, De'Aaron Fox is on this team. Boom. Kevin Durant, welcome. 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 All right. As of today, Kobe White is starting for us, but I don't think that's the way we keep it. Our bench is still pretty bad, but we do have KD. We do have De'Aaron. We do have Cat. That's, a, that's three all-stars right there, man. That is three all-stars. So from 2007, come on, give us a year of a small four because we need one. We're going back to 2007. Oh, my goodness. So, unfortunately, that means that Cal Lowry, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Mike Conley has to, oh, Al Horford. Al Horford is in this draft class, if I'm not mistaken. I think Al Horford is in this draft class. So, we can go We can go get Horford. I mean, his contract won't be too crazy, right? Let's see, uh, $9 million. We can make that work. We give you Davion Mitchell. Oh, we got to go. Let's go sign some people. He played for the Kings. Let's remember that. He plays for the Kings. We got to go sign some people to make these contracts start to work. You know what I'm saying? Give, boom. Tory Craig, good money. A Jay Huff, good money, boy. Welcome back, man. Jay Huff. Make a name for yourself this season, big fella. All right, now, again, we go talk to the... You know what? Let's let's trade finder with the Kings. They got some old... They got some old dudes here. But they also got some really young dudes, too, so... Never mind. I just saw Brian and Al Horford. It was like, oh my God, that might be the oldest team in the league. So Davion Mitchell, Trey Lyles, second round pick. Booms. So please, let's not get 2007 no more because the only guy left, I'm pretty sure, is Mike Conley. I'm, yeah, Mike Conley. My go Joe Kim Noah retired a while back and he's in that class. So 2009, give me nine. 2020. Okay, we can do 2020. That's that's a decent draft class. I got some dudes. Who is probably the best small four we can get from that class? That's what I'm really thinking about because... Or shooting guard. Because Kobe White I like, but I ain't gonna lie to you. Kobe White, you ain't gotta start on this team. I, I would prefer you came off the bench on this team specifically. So we're looking for 2020 draft class. Where things get interesting because they got a lot of hitters here. How many of them are on their rookie deals? Like Maxi signed an extension, but did that extension hit yet? It has hit. Okay. He is 2020, right? Yeah, so he's 2020. This is Patrick Williams. This is LaMelo Ball. This is James Wiseman. Y'all know Anthony Edwards. His contract also hit, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So can't get those guys. Denver Sale. Denver Sale's contract, I'm pretty sure, hit as well. Um, let me see. Let me double check that. Yep. Okay. 29 million. It's not that bad, but that's not, we don't have that on our team right now. Who else is in this draft class that we need to be looking at? Um, we already looked at Maxi. Terry's Halliburton. We don't need him on this team. We got point guard play. 30th overall pick in this draft class is Desmond Bain. Where are you at, Bain? Where's, where's Desmond? Oh, they, they got you a small four, Desmond? Don't tell. Okay, they do. And your contract already hit too. Dang, dude. Who, who's the who's the cheap option? Now, a lot of these dudes got... I mean, yeah, we're talking about four years ago. Even Isaac Coro's on a new contract from this class. What money do we have? We have Josh Hart at 18 that we can trade. And then Batum at... So we can, we can get up to $22 million. That's a little tough though. I don't know who's making around. Like what's what's Jaden McDaniel? I know Jaden McDaniel's got a bag, but how much of a bag is it? Because I'm pretty sure he's this draft class too. He's an, only an 80 though. I mean, we can trade for him, but
but he's only an 80. Ah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't like that. Let's let's trade finder and see if we can get somebody from this draft class because we still got three tradable first rounders. Dang, dude. Um, that would be really cool to have right now. We just <laughs> don't really fit what we're trying to do. Nas Reed is undrafted regardless of what year he's in. Draymond Green, obviously a lot older. Same thing with Buddy Hill. Same thing with James. So, yeah, these guys, Franz Wagner is 2021. Dude, he's perfect for our team, too. That's crazy. Jalen Johnson's 2021. Oh, man. Okay. Mikael Bridges way before that. Aaron Gordon before that. So, Trey Finder don't got it. Fine. It's fine. Um, Dang, the Jaden McDaniels trade might be the one. Unless we go, ro like, bad role. No, I'm sorry. Not bad role player. But what if we do go role player? Like, we do Jalen Wales by himself. And hope that or Jalen Wales and Tory Craig, and hope we get somebody that was drafted in the second round and play the odds of the of the wheel. 2020 draft class. That's that's the one we're looking for, right? 2020, yeah. 2020 draft class. Nick Richards, second round pick, backup center minutes. There we go. We got one. Not that we needed it, but we got one. Actually, yeah, because Big Al can run some foe, and then Nick Richards, Big Al. All right. So this next spin is really important. This is our starting small four or shooting guard. Come on, be a great year. Be a great year. It's LeBron James. We have to go trade for LeBron. We have to go trade for LeBron. All right. Well, that throws a wrench in the entire video. We have to go trade for LeBron James. Uh, <laughs> we have no choice. We have zero choice. We have to overpay if we need to. LeBron James has to end up on this team. Um, so in order to do that, we give up Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, and then we, we give them first round picks. All three of them, they're getting greedy. Welcome to the team, King. So him and KD together, man, that's the oldest star duo in the NBA. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to have KD run the three, Bron run. So, so uh, all right. Hey, whatever, bro. Right now, our starting center is Nick Richards. Our starting center is Nick Richards. Come on. Give me, I don't have a lot of tradable stuff left, man. I swear I don't. We need a year to go get a new center now. We need a year to get a new center. He ain't got to be elite, but he got to be, be good. 2000, first overall pick of 2011 is who? That's all I needed was to think of the first overall pick. It was um, it was Carl, it was uh, Kyrie. Kyrie's the first pick of 2011. Oh, Kyrie's a shooting guard now. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's Kawhi. That's Jimmy Butler. That's um, Nikola Vucevic. Nikola Vucevic might be the best active center from the 2011 draft class, right? Right. I think Vucevic might be the best guy, bro. I ain't going to lie. Uh, and what's what's the trade finder saying for Nick Vooch? Chris Paul, Al Horford, Josh Hart, Al Horford, Kobe White, Al Horford, or De'Aaron Fox? I'm, I'm going to pass on the De'Aaron Fox trade. Thank you for inquiring about that. I mean, we should be able to just do this, right? They really want Al Horford. We don't want to give up Al. He actually plays minutes for us. We got no more draft capital. Wow, forgot about that. Um, Bronze team took it all. So we can we can give them um uh J Mac. No, he's literally one star value. He could not be less valuable to them. He could not be less valuable to this team. Dang, not having any any first round picks stink. Because we kind of have to do the Al Horford deal. That's I mean I really like Al Horford on this team too. Uh we can try another guy. Uh, we got Valanchunas. He's not as good as Vooch. Um, oh, in 2K he is. Never mind. They want Chris Paul. They want Josh Hart. And they'll give us Kevon Looney. I would rather have Vucevic, though, if I'm being honest. I would kind of rather have Vucevic, though. I'm, I, you know what, Al Horford, I'm sorry. It's got to be you, brother. It's got to be you. You got to be a part of this trade. I, I, I would love to keep you on the, around. But we already are like a retirement home with all these old dudes between Bron, KD, and Chris Paul. We got slightly younger right there. Slightly. Starting lineup, De'Aaron Fox, Kobe White, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Usovich. Off the bench right now is Chris Paul, Nick Richards, Cam Whitmore, J-Mac. We need like one more good trade. Like not even a great trade. Just somebody, another backup player. A backup shooting guard. Yeah, backup shooting guard or something. Come on. Give me a good year for it. I got no more first round picks. We're going back to 2021. So the good thing is we got Cam Whitmore. Who's not, a, who's not a first round pick by himself, but he is 20 years old. So he basically is a first round pick. And we're looking for the 2000, what class? 2021, 2021. This is just so perfect. This is just so perfect. Trade number six is probably the one we're doing, but I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking, but trade Buddy Hill. What am I, why did I just do that? I knew Buddy, I watched Buddy Hill play college. Of course, I just saw the 84 and got interested. 
Um, Jalen Johnson's like maybe perfect for a backup unit, but I did say I needed a shooting guard too though. And Jalen Suggs is that. So here's the dilemma. It's between trade number six, which is Jalen Johnson, who's an 84, or trade number eight, which is Jalen Suggs, who's an 83. Now our bench, let, okay, let's let's go to trade number six and just see what this what this hypothetical bench could look like. It would be Chris Paul, it would be nobody, then yeah, we need a wing more than anything. Because Jalen Johnson plays three and four. And if we go get Jalen Suggs, who plays one and two, yeah, so Jalen Johnson makes the most sense for this team. Cool, cool, that's a big trade. And I think they got B-Ball Paul playing and J-Mac playing, ah. Um, that's a big trade, that's a really big trade for us. Like Paul Reed can run some three. He shot a little bit of three pointers last season. So like he, he gives us a little bit of opportunity to, to do that. He's only 6'9", a big 6'9", but he's only 6'9". Uh, yeah, man, we might be done. Fox, Kobe, Kevin, Bron, Vooch, off the bench, Jalen Johnson, Chris Paul, Nick Richards, Paul Reed. I'm afraid to spin it again because if we get a year with only one player, then we have to go get that player. So though we do need like a backup shooting guard, another backup shooting guard, I might run with what we got and just say, that's it, man. Let's sim, let's sim. Let's sim it. Uh, it's, a, it's a little nerve wracking. First game of the season is a loss too. Ooh, ooh, that's fine. I gotta keep reminding myself we got Bron and Kevin. Bron and Kevin. Come on, bro, don't get better than that. Let's go win a bunch of games. Jokic is the MVP of the league. Alex Sar, Josh Giddy, Victor Wembanyama, McKay Cunningham, Anthony Edwards, and then Steve Kerr flexing on him. For a second, I thought that was us. No, we won 57 games. So 57 to 25 is the final record. We'll take that for sure. Uh, Los Angeles Lakers, De'Aaron Fox at 28, 8, and 5. It was De'Aaron Fox's team, low key. But Bron was 24, 7, and 8 as well with 54% from three. So shout out Bron Bron. And he made an all defensive team at 40 years old. Come on, man. Who's doing that is really a league of his own, man. It's been his league for 22 years, and we about to get him ring number five, baby. But we got Luka in the first round. Yikes. Uh, but they got to guard Kevin Durant and LeBron James and Vucevic. So, hello? Of course we win that series. LA versus LA, game one, game two. Okay, we lose there. We win game three, and we get out of there in six. Cool, wins is wins. Minnesota, LaMelo Ball, Tyler Hero, Corey Kisper, Keegan Murray, and Clint Capella. Fun little team over there, for sure, for sure. But you trying to tell me Ke uh, Corey Kispert has to guard Kevin Durant? <laughs> Buckets, bottoms, all of that in between. 2-0 series, 2-1 series, that's fine. 3-1 series, shout out Melo for taking one game. But now we got the real matchup. The 1C versus the 2C. Jalen Suggs, Donovan Mitchell, Gigi Jackson, John Collins, and Jared Allen. They had a better record than us? Huh? I mean, shout out to that backcourt. That's definitely a really good backcourt. But they had a better record than us with Bron, KD, and De'Aaron Fox? Stop it. Game ones, wins. Game twos, don't wins. Let's uh, shorten that rotation. Not playing this game early on. Um, forgot JJ Reddick was a coach for like a split second there, and I had to double take. Like, is that JJ Reddick face scared? Yes, it is JJ Reddick face scared because it's JJ Reddick. So now we got Jokic and Larry Marketing and Lou Dort, Grayson Allen, Jamal Murray, Jamal Murray, and Jokic. I like this. You can't, can't find them anywhere on different teams. Grayson Allen got a card. Kobe White, mwah, mwah, mwah. So the eat session. Lou Dort, Lou Dort got some great defense, but he still do got to guard Kevin Durant. Um, game one, we lose. Boosum has been pretty bad. I looked at his stats at the All-Star break. Oh, they're better. He was shooting like 36% from the field, and I was like, I don't really have a solution for that. We just got to ride it out. And then he has a big playoff game. Now, he took 26 shots. No way you should take over double what LeBron took and almost double what Kevin Durant took in a game. But whatever, we win. Game three, we lose. Jokic is dominating. I mean, we don't have that answer. But we could just shorten this rotation. Jalen Johnson is having a phenomenal playoffs. Chris Paul just can't shoot. But in the regular season, he was good. We got to take those minutes away, big fella. We're going to still get you that ring that you deserve, hopefully. Yeah, De'Aaron, 42 points in that game. And then this game, LeBron... This is the one, Bron Bron. It was. And he get the finals MVP. Mm. Yeah, Bron. Five steals at the age of 40. And watch. 
Oh, it boosts it to eight offensive boards. Shout out to Vooch. Watch, you gonna try to retire on us. I'm gonna let you ride into the sunset, my king. I'm gonna let you ride into the sunset, man. You got another championship. We're gonna call it there. You know what I'm saying? That resume looks red, ridiculous. Five time champion, four time MVP, five time finals MVP, 21 time All Star. 21 time. Oh, man, let's get out of here. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.